I'll tell you what gets me hot to try is sales. Yes. What do you got? <laughs> uh, to date, we made 3.3 million cents. My name is Ashley Jones, and I'm from Virginia Beach, Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the owner of Tones of Melanin. I'm seeking $300,000 for 5% equity into my business. Hello. So, Sharks, for years, thousands of students, faculty, and alumni from historically black colleges and universities, also known as HBCUs, have been underrepresented when it comes to fashion. They're tired of a dazzled t-shirt and polo being their only option for years. Tones of Melanin is here to fill that void. Tones of Melanin has combined streetwear and collegiate wear together to create its own genre of fashion. To date, we have over 40 different HBCU licenses. What makes us so unique is that we come from the community that we serve. Tones of Melanin has become bigger than just fashion. We've become the hub for all things HBCU. So, Sharks, who's ready to change collegiate wear forever? i tell you what gets me hot to try to sales. Yes. What do you got? <laughs> Uh, to date, we made 3.3 million since. Whoa. Whoa. That's over what period of time? <laughs> since 2017. So what have you sold the last 12 months? The last 12 months, we're at 1.4 million. Wow. Can you walk me through this calendar year sales and potential profits? Um, and this, how they break down online versus retail? Okay, um, this calendar year so far, we've made about $1.1 million. That equals up, I want to say, maybe 75%. Um, the rest are e-commerce. Uh, we're currently in Dick Sporting Goods, Follette with services, uh, wow. 25 of the HBCU bookstores, and also on Fanatics. Literally two days ago, I got a purchase order from Follette for $973,000 for our fall. Wow. Wow. So, <laughs> Yo, how exciting. So are you going to make money this year? Uh, yes, what we are. What do you think you'll make? To date, we revenue, we have $343,000 that we made this year from the one point. Uh, okay, one so you've profited about 25% so yes. far. You've got a purchase order for nine hundred seventy three. Three coming in. Yes, sir. Plus, you've got all your other sales and then that are also coming. Also, we have more department stores. Now, this is very creative, and this is what in our business we call the factories holding the paper. Yes. That's what we called it, right? And a lot of people can learn from this. So, you were able to scale because he's doing that. So, what would the money be used for then? Um, the money would be used for, uh, we're actually in house, we have a five person team. So, once they get here, we have to tag them all that. I want to go into fulfillment and having a 3PO company tag it, getting it ready for department stores to make sure that that's well, ready. But you don't have to pay for a 3PL per se. You find a good 3PL and then you send them the inventory and then you only pay as they pick sure. a yeah. pack. We would also use it for marketing. We've only um, spent $50,000 in marketing. Are you running this yourself? Yes, I'm head designer. I'm talking to the manufacturers. Can you please tell us a bit more about your story? Like, where did this come from? My grandparents had one of the first African-American beauty supplies companies in our area. So I seen entrepreneurship firsthand. And then when I turned 13, when my mom worked for the Ford Company subsidiary, they left North Virginia. So I went into hustle mode and it was like, I could at least pay for me to go pay for lunch for myself. I can pay to get my hair done. So it just, it became se second nature, to be honest. You had to take care of you. Yes, yes, and it wasn't. My mom never asked this. I just wanted to help. Like, I know I can do this for myself. Like, I can handle this. You don't worry about that, Mom. You're hot stuff. You have a lot of yeah, ingenuity. Yeah, yeah, my God. Actually, you've got to be putting money in your pocket right now. Not yet. You're um, investing in inventory continuously? Everything is going right back into the business. You're not making a salary? You don't pay yourself anything? I pay myself next to nothing. I'm still trying to get... How I are you to, surviving? Uh, I have a great community. My family, my mom, she believes in me. That is really mind-blowing. Problem for me, I don't know much at all about this area. I am not really and never have really been much in the apparel world, nor in the sports. And, you know, I understand. Like, it's not really my thing. And so for that reason, I wish you good luck, but I'm out. I appreciate it. Thank you. You are on fire. Thank you. But this isn't a business I know a thing about. Sadly, I'm out. Ashley, I look at it as a inventory challenge because the bigger you get, the more capital you're going to need to hold all these different SKUs and more licenses, more SKUs, more inventory, more capital. That's what I've learned about the clothing business. It's not a business I want to be in. I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you. The challenge I have is I, I'm, I'm in this area in certain aspects. I, I either advise or own companies in this area. Eastman Golf and Actively Black, FUBU, and then another company you may know of, AACA, Amer Okay, African yes, American yes, College I'm familiar. League. So I, I would, uh, it would be challenging me to split hairs like this, and I don't think I would be 
giving you doing a service, but I will give you one idea. Instead of having trying to go to a lot of retailers, we've had one representative young man and one representative young woman at each school who are the official sellers of the goods, and they get maybe a thousand, two thousand dollars worth of product and sell it however they want, and they've been doing it like that, I would highly suggest you do that. But at this moment, it's a conflict for me. I so, appreciate yeah, congratulations. your advice. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm out. Thank, Thank you. you. So, Ashley, you're a superstar. You're a force of nature. You know your stuff cold. I mean, you didn't back down. You kept a smile the whole time. Nobody phased you even the tiniest <laughs> bit. And, you know, being in the business I am with the Mavericks, I know a few people that, you know, are excited about all this. So I'll make you an offer. We'll okay. see if you like it. I'll give you the $300,000, but I want 15%. Can we do 12? Done. <laughs> wow. That was quick. Good job. You're the best. Thank You're you. the best. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You've come to the right place.